So how do you represent a neural network? And let, let's start with the diagram. Okay, sounds good. So I'm gonna put the diagram on this side of the board at first and then I have room for equations later. Here, let's say we have an example of three different features uh -huh. um, in our variable set. So we have x1, x2, mm -hmm. and x3. Now, we are gonna have our first hidden layer of nodes that we'll explain a little bit more later, and those will be four nodes looking like a layer one, node one, mm -hmm. a layer one, node two, a layer uh, one, node three, and a layer one, node four. So I say layer one because it's in this vertical line, mm -hmm. and I'll put circles around them because they represent the neurons or nodes. Those are analogous terms. Okay. Here. Um, for each neuron that we have, mm -hmm. we are going to pass in every single input. So X1 is going to be connected to every single individual neuron. X2 is going to be connected to every single neuron. And X3, again, connected to all the neurons. So these lines start to overlap and look a little funny, but I think that you understand mm -hmm. the idea here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have one output layer. So let's write hidden. And this is the input layer. This is the input layer, yes. And here we'll have an output layer. Hopefully we can still see Yes, that yes screen. we can. Yeah. And this in this example we'll do a layer two and just one node for the the output layer. Each of the preceding um, layers are going to have an output, just like we said with the signal coming out, if it's high enough. And each of these will connect to this neuron in the next layer. So it will have four inputs, and then this will produce our Y hat prediction. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So I think it's important to remember that in a neural network, every predictor connects to every neuron in this hidden layer here. Yes. So there are a total of 12 connections between the, the, the three predictors and the four uh, nodes in the hidden layer. Uh, and now, now, Lane, I have a question for you here. So yeah. in, in regression, in statistics, we often have an intercept term. Um, in, so in, in linear regression, we have uh, y hat is equal to beta 0 uh, plus beta 1, x1 plus beta 2, x2, and so on. Yeah. So is there an intercept term in, in a neural network? There absolutely is an intercept uh -huh. term. We will see it when we go into the actual mathematical okay. uh, function of this. Okay. There are different uh, diagram representations of a neural network. I have seen some with the intercept term. Uh -huh. The one that I'm following is specifically from Coursera and Drew Ng's courses. Okay. And in okay. his courses, he doesn't write the intercept term because okay. a little backing on one of the reasons is instead of having a separate B term, uh -huh. When you actually start coding this up, what you can do is you can have a x0 um, uh -huh. sitting at the top, uh -huh. and this x0 is set to 1, uh -huh. and that the weight on that x0 acts as your intercept term. So there's no need to write right. another thing there. Right. It's just, um, I suppose it's implied in this architecture, but yep. absolutely you need the bias term in the neural network.